Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is part eight of our mixed media canvas. And all I'm gonna do is take my Pentel Finito. It's an extra fine uh, point pen, kind of a marker. And I'm gonna trace over my drawing of my girl. And I'm just doing it very haphazardly. I'm not worrying too much how on point it is, but I want to erase my pencil marks. So this is where, you know, I'm gonna keep a lot of the features. And I'm just drawing over very simple, very easy. You know, I'm not thinking about it too much, like I said. And it also helps you kind of firm up some of your, you know, eyes, nose, mouth, you know, what have you. And I'm just tracing the neck. And making an outline for, I don't know what I'm going to put on her, but that gives me space to work with it. And I'm tracing her face. So next I'm going to cut her out of the paper. Oh, this is a good tip. Whatever marker that you're using, no matter if it's permanent or not, make sure you dry it a little bit or leave it sit for about five minutes because it has to dry through the fibers of the paper. Um, so if you use a permanent marker, other than alcohol ink, because I think that dries pretty quick, but um, you know, you want to just give it a second or dry it with your hair dryer or heat gun just to help it along so it doesn't smear. And now I just have my favorite eraser in the world. It's the Vanish. And I'm going to show you probably closer to the end how see those right there that is what it how it erases so instead of you getting all that eraser dust and you got to blow it off and do all that um this does it like in big big strands and i i love it it's so much easier to use and i tell you the truth um one of my favorite people in the world uh linda chilcott bought that for me she bought me three of them and sent them to me and surprised me bless her soul she's passed on since um, since then, I believe it was, uh, she's been gone maybe a year, a little bit over a year. She was a fantastic, uh, artist and fantastic friend and lady. So, um, it is one of my favorites. Uh, sometimes you can find it at the art store. Um, but you can find it on Dick Blick and all those Jerry's Artorama, Cheap Joe's, all those. Okay. So that's my paper that I'm saving because, you know, I'm, a, I'm a cheapie and I love, saving little pieces of paper. I don't like throwing things away. So now I'm going to glue her down. So you can see I erased everything off of there. You can still see a little bit of the pencil, but I don't care because I'll be painting her. Um, but for now, I'm just doing that. And I'm taking my decoupage mat. You want to use whatever mat medium you have. If you don't have a mat medium, use your white school glue and just put it on the back really good. Now this is a uh, mixed media paper that I'm using, so it's a little thicker. Um, so, you know, you really want to put that glue on there and around the edges, but you can use uh, printer paper, cardstock, whatever you have. And I put it all over and I'm gonna lay her down where I want her. I want her a little off uh, center. Yeah, there we go. But I wanna make sure I can get her hair and everything on there. So I'll complain at the end probably if it's too far over, but put it wherever you want and throw another coat of the matte medium on top just to make sure it's down. And it won't hurt anything. You can paint and draw over it. It's not going to bother anything. You can see nothing smeared. You can see by the chin I have a little bloop of uh, where I was drawing because my hands. But uh, I don't care. I'll fix it. It's not a big deal. I'm just drawing it. Use your heat gun. Use your hair dryer. Leave it sit for a few minutes. And I'm pushing it down to make sure it really has good contact. I'm giving it a little caress right there. All right. I know. It's disturbing. I'm disturbing. Okay. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to lay down uh, two different paints. I'm going to lay down my Bambi Brown for ceramic coat and my Portrait Light from Folk Art. And I'm going to put two little piles. Shake it up. And you're going to see I did not shake that one up first. And all that delicious gooey uh, product comes out on the top. So I'm going to have to wipe that up because, as you can see, I did not shake Make sure you shake it, shake it, shake it. There we go. Much better. And then some of my Bambi Brown. But you use whatever you have. Uh, use a darker shade of uh, skin tone or whatever brown you have. Whatever, whatever you have. You want to do gray? Use gray. I love doing gray as well. But that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take my paintbrush and lay it all down. Lay it down. Lay it down. All over. Yep, all over the marker, everywhere. That's still going to be my guides, but um, this gives me a chance to, once this is dry, when I go on to the next 
uh, part to fix anything if I want to fix the nose or the mouth or anything. Now I'm using this drawing time extender, uh, which I like. It is from Americana. You can get them wherever you find your acrylic paints at. Every brand has it. They're blending, they're extenders, and what they do is they make it um, stay a little wet longer. And when I do shading a little bit, I like to use it because it just helps me shade that much better. Now I'm just going in. i got to get a smaller brush because, well, you'll see in a minute. But you can see I'm just kind of laying the shadows in where they go. Got a smaller brush, getting it wet there. And I do both sides of my brush and blend it on whatever my palette is just to kind of make it better. And you can see I'm laying down some of the dark shades. You can do this as dark or as light as you want. I like to use my finger and kind of tap, tap, tap it down, as you can probably see me doing. And I'm going around the outside and then the top of her hairline for when I put hair in. I'm going to go underneath her nose, her neck. And it's just a, it's a good way to start out and do it. You know, you don't have to. You can keep her completely one color, but I'm just going to see how I do with this. And you can see the shading. And I'm just laying it. Look, there's those fingers. There we go. There we go. And you can see the difference. I really think the extender and all works, but like I said, you you know, you don't have to use it. Sometimes I use water instead of an extender. It thins the paint out a little bit, but it does stay wetter a little bit longer as well. And now I'm going because I want it a little darker underneath the nose, under the chin, under the lips. Yep, I'm just all around, everywhere. And if you put on makeup, that's what I love to uh, to think about is where you would put your highlights or your concealer almost, you know, your bronzer. Think about those kind of places. Now it looks a little darker on the top of the head and I'm going to lay, you can see I'm going into lighter now to blend it all. And I'm going to go above the nose and everything else. And just... Blending it around. You can see on the one side I did a little uh, contouring on that cheekbone. You can do that on both sides as well. I like to kind of tap, tap, tap my paintbrush on top of uh, the layers for the shading. But again, you can do whatever way you want. And I'm just kind of going over it. Not going to worry about it too much because I've got to do the eyes yet and the hair and, and all that kind of thing. So, you know, I'm just laying it down there for me. Now, normally I usually do green eyes. You're going to see I grab a blue marker just to lay in the eyes. Because um, I, I, I'm probably going to do blue on here. I'm not real sure yet, but uh, it's just something I used on here, you know, real quick to see. I was going to use a paint pen, but then decide to use a marker so I can go over it. And you can use, you know, any permanent one you have, a Sharpie. or And if you don't want to use a pen or a marker, use paint. You can definitely use paint. I don't know exactly what brand the pen is, but I go in and then I see quickly that it does not like to go over acrylic paint, as you're gonna see. So I just kind of lay it in so I can get the idea or the thing that I want to see if that's the color and I'll explain that in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching and please be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please share my videos if you like and enjoy them and I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow.